What is good you guys? It is your boy Joey Sings and welcome to my channel for a brand new video, honey. Yes, you don't read the video right, honey. We is finna get back in the Jack Metal for y'all. Yes, he done beat somebody up for charity and I'm ready to get into it, you guys. So listen, if you is not a backup singer, go ahead and become one. Smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to notify when I upload brand new videos like this. And let's get into the chaos. Here we go. Alrighty, you guys. So I got the video pulled up. And let's see who Jack beating up, honey. Here we go. Oh, 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 wait, let's go. Yeah, I am boxing a real life man here in front of 15,000 people. How did I get him? Well, in this video, you're going to see how I, a glorified Minecraft player, spent their last week before fighting in one of the biggest boxing events in YouTube history. But first, a little contest. As some of you will remember, over a year ago now, me, Wilbur, and George went down to London in order to learn how to box. Because I figured that a day of training was all I needed to beat my boxing younger brother in a fight. And we all know how that turned out. <laughs> <laughs> It turns out you need months of training in order to do this sort of thing. Eight months to be exact. I remember that video. I couldn't afford that kind of time. I have ghost sighting videos to react to on Twitch. Unfunny TikToks to try not to laugh at. I'm a busy man. But Period. But months after being brutally beaten by my younger brother, I flew out to Florida to watch my friend Minks fight in last year's Create Clash. And I don't know whether it was the thrill of the night or the copious amounts of alcohol that I had... <laughs> Okay, but after the event, I confidently tweeted this out and told Idubs I would fight in this next event if he would have me. Months went by, I was back and forthing about opponents and weight classes and things like that, and I kept engaged, but none of it felt real. Until okay. Day, Ian sent me a message getting in touch with this guy, Charlie Wise. This guy's good. And now he has eight months to get me good in order to fight my finalized opponent. The sky's toast. That's right, I was supposed to be fighting this guy, the king of Among Us. So I began training my Oh my goodness, way! The one who sits and plays video games for a job. This was the hardest thing I ever did. Every <laughs> day I came back home, sore, sweating. I bet. I bet, man, because you gotta right, left, right, left, duck, kick, move back, run around in circles. Well, you ain't kicking in boxing. I don't know why I said that. But you gotta one, two, one, two, two, one, three, one, five, six, all of that. You gotta duck and move, move and duck, okay? Because you don't wanna get hit in the face, okay? So, yeah, I bet, oh, Lord, them arms is probably ready to give it out. This sucked, but I don't like to toot my own horn. I am no quitter. I'm Period. Never that's I know the that's one right. Thing I will give myself that and the fact that I hate losing. So, if I was gonna fight, <laughs> I was gonna win. Yeah. That that I didn't just have to hit bags and pads. I had to spar. Now, for those of you who don't know boxing, sparring is when you fight right. a real person. A real person. For how it is to fight in an actual boxing match. And now, I'd love to tell you I fought someone my size, but there's actually not very many people who box at my size. So everyone I was sparring was significantly bigger than me. Training oh, wow. Me. I was getting bad and quick. Charlie was telling me I was learning and good, but there was a problem. Ludwig decided he wanted to host his own boxing event. And Toast was going to be fighting in this as well. And I waited eagerly to watch this thing. This was insider information of how my opponent fights. This is the best thing ever, I thought. But there was a problem. Although Toast did fight, and it was all streams, and I watched it all, one thing went wrong. He took some big punches. Punches big enough to give him a concussion. Oh, wow. Toast no longer wanted to fight. For some reason, he just never wanted to get hit in the head again. I don't blame him. I was opponentless, and I've been training for months at this point. Right. I didn't want to waste all the work I put in. So, we look for another opponent. The only problem is, not many people at my size and shape, especially in the influencer world, like boxing. So, my opponent pool was pretty small. And although there were a couple of people who almost fought me and things like that, there was one man, the only man, who was willing to fight me after all was said and done. This is Dakota Alave, the man I fought on April 15th. And let me tell you, although now I can... A skateboarder? At the time, he was an enemy, and I hated him. And not only that, <laughs> I was a little scared of him as well. You see, this guy had fought before. He wasn't another YouTuber who was going in blind like me. This was a man who'd got in the ring, had a fight, and although he had lost, he got in after only a month of training. Oh, this guy wow. Was ballsy. But this meant I just had to train harder. I still was not going to lose to this guy. Budget Ninja! But there wasn't long left. There was only a few weeks left. Not to Budget fight. Ninja! I only had so much training I could do. And slowly but surely, as I trained, as much as I hated it, 
a day got closer until it hit April 9th when I finally had to fly to Florida. Oh my goodness! Here's how I spent my last week before I had to fight a man in front of 15,000 people. Enjoy! <laughs> Florida just looks so basic coming here. And it's still scary at moment. Florida any minute. Copyrighted Flow Rider track. We finally landed in Florida, home of the criminally insane and more recently, George Not Found. But I had no George Not Found. I had work to do. Period. With only a handful of days left before the big fight, I had to train. But first, I had to find somewhere to do it. So we drove around and found this place, the Mayweather Gym. Ooh. As we got to training, I was feeling sharp. These eight months. Okay. Off, I was finally beginning to feel confident about this. The only issue we were facing was the sweltering heat of that swamp of a state they call <laughs> Florida. I've been training for eight months in the UK in the winter, a relatively cold environment. So to go to this humid, warm place, they lost the, that much energy. He done sweated off a person. He done sweated off a whole no person. He a whole new the size on um, weight limit class now, baby, because he's skinchy. The sun done got him. Yeah, so that's what happened in Florida. Out. But after a few hours of training, I was finally feeling acclimatized to that obnoxious heat. Right. I was confident that I had the fitness to fight those five rounds that I was going to need to defeat the co in three days' time. So, me and Charlie decided that there was no more point in doing any more training. And I have been instructed to take active rest. Essentially, I was banned from laying around and doing nothing all day, but I was strictly instructed at the same time not to exert myself or train too hard. So Period. I what I could do was pretty limited. So I went and had a little bit of fun. But of course, being a YouTuber, I couldn't help but film all of it because I'm greedy and love content and love making. <laughs> but because I love my fans, I just couldn't help but film it all for you guys. Oh, we started off with the most fun thing that America has to offer. Consumerism. Target. We love a Target. Thanks, man. Thanks for making my Target look great. I need to buy some cheese hits. What do you think? I'm getting dressed. I can't think. I'm getting dressed, Jack. Yeah. I'm getting dressed. 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 Y
hundred pounds. That extra thirty five is made up of shit, piss, and cum. <laughs> in it's solid. Do you keep it all in until the fight? Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they did ask for a nickname, but I didn't go with Jack's massive pop. What do you go with? Uh, <laughs> what do you go with? Oh no, oh, no it was really bad. It's got the ball death. He's gonna have no more of that blue hair, man. I'm making, why am I getting jumping jacks? What's this like proof of? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm British. I think you mean star jumps? Hi, Jack. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Alan. <laughs> I'm James, nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is your test going to come back negative? I hope so. Mm. I'm really hoping so. Yeah. Jack, you had that hard night a couple of Yeah, and then that's sure. why I'm... We know you love those Florida boys, you know? Oh! But then something crazy happened. What happened? As I was doing my insane ramblings, my opponent entered the building. And this was the first time I'd ever seen him in the flesh. And I'd never spoken to him before either. And I didn't know what he was going to be like. Was he going to have beef with me? Was he going to be aggressive? Was he going to be rude? I just didn't know. So I started trying to suss him out and figure out what was going on. Oh, damn it. Ninja is down there. Do you know what? I'm going to run down the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and charge down the stairs. <laughs> of rage and release the bomb early, you know. You know what? He's nowhere near as big as prepared for a bigger guy. I'm always prepared for the bigger guy. <laughs> I'm always prepared for the big guy. I don't know how big he is. This big? Yeah, I can step on him. He's that big. And now, now compare that to me. Oh, oh shit, he's Fuck, he's getting bigger. Fuck, he's getting bigger. Uh -huh. I'm intimidated, though. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's trying to just keep his only looking at me. <laughs> but he isn't, and then find that ring. Oh, yeah. Chris, like, yeah, just, I don't know if you like this. I'm going to jump in Jack's so fucking high, I'm going to tell it to fuck out of him. He's going to see I'm high again. He's going to see him high again. Jack is so awkward. That is hilarious. It's just like. Do we speak? Do we not speak? Do I like what? What is the vibe? You know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to fill out these vibes. Like I know we're like in competition or whatever, but you know, like you know, like okay. To me, and I had no idea what he was gonna be like. But for now, I couldn't let that distract me because it was time to go visit the arena. Yeah, I'm on the bus. Now every single day since I've been here, I open the curtain to my room. Good morning, USA. Uh, sing a whole song. I'll go over right here. We're at the arena. Where I'm gonna fight. That's crazy. I'm gonna be the thunder. 14 away. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute. Like, everyone's gonna be camera person. Like, two seconds. Filming someone different. Like, everyone's gotta say my idea. Like, 26 at the same video come out. Period. Let them know, Jack. This is like maybe a big hand. He's just like, like a classroom. Vimbo! <laughs> <laughs> Because you are Rambu. What do you mean you don't know why they're staring at you, sir? You are famous, okay? The people love you everywhere. Don't get it twisted, okay? That's why they looking at you. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. Way too nice to have any beef with. I just couldn't do 
it. I tried thinking about how many more followers he had, how much more money, how much more hair, but nothing was working. No matter what angle I looked at him through, he was just a sweetheart. But this was a problem, a problem for me. I needed to beat this guy up. I needed anger. I needed venom. And that's the reason to hate him. How was I going to find it? How was I going to win this fight? I knew the pressure was on me to try and start some beef. And although I'm not proud of it, I knew something that was going to work. I don't know how you're supposed to say like really mean things about each other that are completely unnecessary. You're easy pickings, pal. You're the same easy last name pickings, Pipswick. Look, you might know. Foolproof method of starting beef had failed, and not only that, but he'd embarrass me live in front of thousands of people, and that wasn't the only time I was greatly embarrassed on that stage. Uh, next question. Everest, Everest. Darren Yes. A question for Jacked Massive Fold. Okay, yeah, thank you. Just wondering how it feels to be the most muscular guy in the event tonight. Yeah, I mean, no, it does feel very good over the past few months. I've put on, you know, I mean, immeasurable amounts of muscle mass. Uh, I'm as rigid as you can believe, so, um, and that is, you know, in every sense. Thank you. He is that rigid I checked earlier. <laughs> I said not a word, and I joked about having a hard on. And I don't. Look, there's not even a bone in Look, I don't and I don't look. It's not even a bonus. Just being that I yeah. in front of that many people had finally given me the fuel I needed in my stomach to fight. And right in time too, because tomorrow was fight day. Oh, I'm excited for fight day. Participation award. Oh. I've already won that one. This is it. It's a man now. I walk out with it. I'll be like, and I get in the ring. Go in a bit. <laughs> Slowly, my jovial energy, my whimsy, was beginning to fade. I oh no! There and fight in front of fifty. Oh, I get it. A matter of minutes. And although, what did I just start getting nervous? Why did I just start getting nervous? Like, I'm the one that's going to have to go out here and fight somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got nervous. Like, I don't want anything to happen to Jack. Like, if Jack don't win, Dakota, we beefing. Okay, we beefing, Dakota. <laughs> I'm too to really admit it, but nerves were beginning to get to me. But that didn't matter. The time was here. I had to gear up and get out there. And of course, me being me, if I was going to gear up, I would yes. go to And being the oh, I love it. British person at this I love those. Event, I felt like I needed to show everyone what I was about in the most obnoxious way possible. So I walked out like this. I just got nervous. Your mother's favorite streamer from Mansfield, England. Introducing the Ball Death Jack Ninja. <laughs> the Ball Death. <laughs> the only thought in my head as I turned around and that bell rung was, oh shit, this is real. And then after that, there was nothing else. I just. Let's, ooh, let's go, Jack. I've never moved so much in two minutes. I boxed plenty of this. Oh my god! I felt tired Whoa. after two minutes after that first round. But I was on top of things. Things were going well. And that carried on into the second round. I was moving forward, throwing punches. Oh my goodness! A couple. I was winning. Oh my goodness! But that all changed after the third round, where I was getting obnoxiously tired. Oh no. What I to add is that although I could look back now and tell you that I was winning, in the moment, all I was realizing were the moments where I was getting hit in the head. I wasn't even thinking about all the times I hit the cover. So in my mind, I was losing. And with my energy depleting going into the fourth round, I really didn't have it in me to keep punching as much as I had to. And this cost me the cover gave me the biggest nosebleed I'd ever had in my life. Oh and no! Confirmation in my head that this was going down. Oh no, oh no, wait, 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 wait. This is nerve wracking. Like, this is nerve, but you can physically see Jack getting tired. But you know what? He is still going. 
He is still going, y'all. And yes, my ring light just did some funky thing, which means the whole lighting thing probably just changed. I don't know what happened. It got a mind of its damn own. I really thought we were experiencing a loss. But going into the fifth round, I couldn't let myself give up. I remember being sat in the corner thinking, I don't care if I pass out after this last round. Just fight. Let's and go, Jack. Because I pulled my heart out in that last round. And with that frankly huge final punch, the fight was over. And although everyone around me was celebrating, I was nervous. I didn't know how to survive. I'm nervous. Bloody and bruised. I wasn't sure I'd won this. So I stood there nervously. There was nothing more I could do. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Jack Nelson. <laughs> I can breathe. Oh wow! Secretly, I don't know how I would have handled it if I'd have lost this fight, knowing I was fighting in his name. So oh! I was so relieved and overjoyed to have actually won. And honestly, with all the thrill of the moment, I could I not. Won. You know what? Just when you think you cannot love a creator more, this, this. Oh, I'm trying not to cry right now. Ugh. Oh, oh, I'm trying not to cry right now. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, Techno never dies. Period. Oh, my goodness. Oh, give a semi competent final speech. Oh. Uh, there's people now around a year ago, I believe, Techno Break Pass of South Carolina. It's terribly sad. See. Uh, and we've raised what well, we, as a collective, all my cookie tubes have really tried to raise a lot of money for it. And I hope oh this will God. help with that. I even had the blessing of Techno Dad before I went out today. He sent me the spirit of Sun Tzu. Oh, my God. It fucking works. So, Techno Dad, thank you so much. Oh. Uh. Oh my god! Arguably the best moment of my life. And oh I my it. goodness! You, so I am greatly appreciative. I oh never god. thought I would ever do this. I never even thought I'd box. Never mind, do it. Oh on this my scale, goodness! For this in front of this many people. And best of all, two of one. Just it's the cherry on top. It's amazing. And now everything was done. Eight months. Of oh my, my life god! And all I could do now was celebrate the victory. The people I love the most. Oh my god! Yay! My dad sent me a picture of the name of the one time. We're just now actually, and I was at one time. Yes. Y'all not. I'm not fucking crying. I'm not finna sit here and be crying. <laughs> I'm not finna be sitting here crying, Jack. Oh my gosh. Is that this moment with you and Dakota? Dakota, I love you too, friend. Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck. Like, oh, like, like, no, no, what the fuck? Oh, I'm crying. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh! Oh, see! <laughs> oh, God! Oh. Can I stop crying now, Jack? Please. Subscribe to Mr. Chat Manifold Television. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, if you don't, did you see that performance? That's part of the fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not know. When I press play, I was going to end up in tears. But I am not upset, honeys. Period.